Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm closing this event. And I guess this, I hope three times is a charm for also video recordings. And um, I would like to thank all the speakers who have contributed um, to this uh, event by choosing to challenge and submitting their talks and their time. You are all amazing. This was an unprecedented event. Jenna from ThoughtWorks reached out to me to ask if PyLadies Hamburg is doing another event this year, another International Women's Day event. And I ad asked in, I advertised uh, that I'm doing this in the PyLadies network and Lorena from Chicago reached out to say she would also want to be um, um, collaborating on this. And then we thought, well, with two time zones, why not add three and then just be all around the globe? So we basically reached out to Georgie and uh, here we are, um, three of us. And uh, let's see. So this whole event was organized in three months with a lot of uh, work being done, like, of course, via Slack. And um, it was quite an amazing um, adventure to to, to be working on like three completely disjoint time zones. Um, it kind of was the, the Slack channel was quite active at all any given time, two people were awake and you would wake up the next day and see that a lot of the work was done and wonder like, wow, that's amazing. So yeah, that was an unprecedented uh, situation. And, uh, and as everything was done, like in one month and on a really short notice, the same we ask for our speakers to record and prepare everything in a short um, time window. So we are very grateful for that. Uh, my talk today is um, about uh, the PSF diversity and inclusion work group. Um, I guess some of you have heard of it, but or if not, you've definitely heard about the Python Software Foundation, maybe. <laughs> Let's see. So a little bit about me. I am uh, Teresa Yovchu. I uh, use the pronouns she, her. I'm uh, coaching data science at uh, Bootcamp Neue Fische. I'm also co-organizer of the PyLadies Hamburg um, chapter um, vice chair for the Python Software Verband. And I am part of the diversity and inclusion uh, work group at the PSF. And I do artsy stuff under the label Tiap Yap. And um, so as I was saying, the PSF Diversity and Inclusion Workgroup is fairly new. We've started it in uh, December 2020. Um, and uh, basically uh, there are, if you go on the Python Software uh, Foundation website, you will see that in general, there are a lot of people involved in creating and maintaining and growing the Python language that we use and also the community around it. So it's not something that you know just happens on its own. It is a little bit of work. And um, one of the, the aims of the diversity and inclusion um, work group is to further this one mission from the PSF, that is to support and facilitate the growth of a diverse and international community of Python programmers. Um, so for this reason, the, the work group tried to be at least um, so as much as possible diverse. And uh, I created this nice, uh, dashboard you can check it out it's online um, where you see so we are 20 people uh, they, we are covering all the regions so we're representing all the regions and continents of the globe except Antarctica uh, here is a big shout out to also to Marlene uh, Mangami from Zimbabwe who is also the chair of this work group and one of the driving forces behind the group um, if you go on this website you will see that um, you can see where the people are from and uh, zoom in on the city and really look at the geography of it that's as much as you can do with a map and um yeah so as i was saying it's a volunteering group so sometimes people uh everybody volunteers as much as they can and uh, in 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 the way that they can so so far one of the um, Things I would like to mention is that Iqbal Abdullah from Japan, he made this uh, survey at the end of last year, beginning of this year, where he tried to see what is to try to ask people in the community about, you know, their stand about Python and the PSF. And um, as you can see, 
percent of the people he asked use Python and uh, then also 80% know about the Python Software Foundation, but only 50% knew um, what the board of directors of Python Software Foundation uh, does. And and also only like 30, even like less 33% have voted in the PSF board, but there's quite a, a strong desire for um, having a more geo, uh, having more geo diversity in the PSF board, and how? So the uh, the next steps in my so the next part that I will focus in the talk is, for example, if you want to be um, on the PSF board, what do you have to do, right? So, but before we get there, the first question, I guess, we are all asking, and a lot of people are asking whenever you have organizations like this, why should you care about the PSF, right? Why should you care about any kind of organization like this that is not a company that you work for? Um, and basically, yeah, so what's in it for me? So from my perspective, I think some of the things that I see uh, about the PSF is that they are behind running conferences, Python conferences. They're also facilitating communities like the Pi Ladies one. So for example, they are paying for our meetup subscriptions and our um, uh, Slack uh, stuff. And um, then there's the code of conduct um, and the work group behind it, where you can, um, when you're a small Python community who cannot afford to have their own code of conduct work group, sometimes uh, people reach out to uh, the PSF to be part of the, under the guidance of the Python PSF user group and PSF code of conduct work group. And then there's also the grants, right? So for example, if you run a Python event uh, dealing with education, diversity or community, you can apply for a financial grant, right? So how this, um, exp how did this work for me so far? So basically I, um, I was part of the group starting the Pi Ladies uh, Hamburg chapter. We started in uh, July 2018. Since then, we've done 33 events. This would be the 34th one. Uh, we've received so far three grants. So basically 100% acceptance rate. So I applied only three times. Um, I don't know if you've participated, but we had the IoT workshop in Hamburg and also the PyCon DE. IoT workshop in Berlin where we needed a lot of Raspberry Pis for the people uh, building um, weather stations for their flats. And also the Python Pizza Hamburg uh, conference received funding from the PSF last year. And um, so basically, yeah, the next thing, the next question that I have is, why am I volunteering at all? Like I'm volunteering in three uh, parts of the PSF. So I guess I'm the pilot, this Hamburg chapter, the code of conduct work group and the diversity and inclusion work group. And I think this uh, quote from uh, Brett Cannon, who's a Python core developer, he said it at the PyCon US in 2014. I don't know about the rest of you. I came here for the language, but I stayed for the community. And I think that sums it up. What I can say about volunteering is it's that it's not an instant return on investment thing that you can calculate and predict um, your return uh, value beforehand. It's more like a way of life. You, if you volunteer, you, it's like a long game. It's at some point it can um, work out, of course. Yeah. So what one of the things that came out of volunteering, basically, which would not be possible without the um, my um, you know engagement in the past would be this event today. So um, this event came from the interactions on the Python on the PyLadies network, and um, and it wouldn't. So it was kind of organic, but it was like I would say that if I would have plan from the outside, I would just join a network and say now, hey, I want to do this. I don't think people would really like join me, right? Like, who are you? <laughs> so, um, so it needs, you need to build this um, to be part of the community and then, you know, things happen. So yeah, so my last question to you is, 
are you a person who's volunteering their time and you're still not a member of the PSF? Yeah. So, so I guess the first step in order to for your volunteering, at least to be like, you know, to put two and two together would be to be part of the PSF. You can join as a member to go on the website. And then at some point you may decide that you're volunteering enough and a lot, and you should apply then for the PSF board, uh, where you just, um, submit with a statement about all of your, all the work that you've been doing for the community and Python as a language. And I always like closing. Uh, my talks with the current book that I'm reading. So I would like to say, um, so the one that I'm reading now is called The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. Uh, this is a book where diversity, mansplaining, being a person of color are tackled in a urban fantasy setup in New York. Um, I can totally recommend all her books. Um, and um, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter. And again, thank you very much for attending uh, this uh, event and uh, celebrating International Women Days with us. And uh, don't forget to, to follow up with the Chicago event later today. Mm -hmm.